This video, I'm going to continue working on this assignment, Project 8.1, Bud Maker. I'm going to work on this part. It's on page 8, the upper die outer ring. I'm going to show you how to model this part and to create this drawing. I start out by creating a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. I start out by creating a series of concentric circles. Choose my circle tool, select the origin, enter 2.063. Enter. Two point two five zero. Enter. Two point six two five. Enter. Three point zero six three. Enter. Finish your sketch. going to extrude. I'm going to go in the reverse direction and 0.75 and I'm going to select all these rings except the center. I'm not going to select the center. I'm going to go to my extrusion and turn on the sketch, turn the visibility on. I'm going to select extrude. I'm going to go in the reverse direction and I'm going to remove material and I'm going to select this outer ring and I'm going to a depth of 0.178 I'm going to extrude one more time. I'm going to choose this profile and I'm going to remove material. And the depth is going to be 0.616 and select OK. Go to my sketch right mouse button and turn the visibility off. I'm going to go to my front view and then rotate around to the back view. I'm going to create a new sketch on this face. I'm going to turn on construction and I'm going to project the YZ and the XZ planes. I'm going to place a point on this axis. Try not to grab the diameters that are, that are in the on the far face. Place the point about here on the axis. I'm going to place a dimension from here to the point. Make this 2.625 divided by 2, um, specifying the radius. I'm going to create a circular pattern. And I'm going to specify as the geometry this point I just created. And as the center of my radial geometry, I'm going to choose the origin. I'm going to I want three holes, a total of three holes, and they'll be here, the first one, and then these two here. Finish your sketch. I use my hole tool. 
the diameter is 0.25. It's a simple hole. There is a distance, and the distance is 0 0.410. I'm going to create a work plane, angle to a plane around an edge, and I'm going to, the edge I'm going to choose is the z-axis, and the plane is the xz plane, and the angle is going to be a minus 23. So I have the work plane at the angle that I want, but I don't want it here running through the center. I want it out here tangent to this surface. So I'm going to create another work plane. Tangent to surface parallel to plane. And I'm going to choose this work plane. And I want it on this surface. Just like that. I'm going to hide the visibility of this work plane. So I'm going to create a hole on this surface. So I'm going to create a sketch on that work plane. I'm going to turn on construction. And I'm going to project that surface. I'm going to turn off construction and I'm going to place a point right about there. And I create a dimension from that edge to the point. Is 0.464. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to create a hole. The hole diameter is 0.125. It does go down a distance, and that distance is 0.350. It's a simple hole. Select OK. And so there's my first hole. I'm going to hide this plane I created, turn off the visibility. I'm going to create another work plane. Add an angle to a plane around an edge. And following the same procedure, the edge is going to be the z-axis. And the work plane I'm using is the XZ plane, and the angle from the drawing is 10 degrees. But I don't want it here running through the center, I want it on this surface, so I'm going to create a new work plane. Tangent to a surface parallel to a plane. I'm going to select this work plane and this surface. I'm going to turn off the visibility of this work plane. I'm going to create a new sketch on this work plane I just created. I'm going to turn on construction. And I'm going to project this space. I'm going to turn off construction, and I'm going to place a point on this axis about there. I'm going to add a dimension 
from this construction line to the point and it's 0.464. I'm gonna finish my sketch. I'm gonna place a hole using the same values, 0.35 deep and 0.125 diameter. Select OK. Hide this work plane, turn off the visibility. I'm going to select chamfer. I'm going to point to this edge and add a 0 0.03 chamfer on that edge. I'm going to choose fillet. Set the radius to 0 0.03 and select these two edges. Go to my front view and verify that this is my front view. The three holes should be on the back. The two holes we just created should be on the top. And that's my front view. I'm going to go to uh, Eye Properties, to Summary, and change the title. Change the title to 38 Upper Die Outer Ring, and change the author to your name. Go to Project, change the part number to 38. Change the description to upper die outer ring. Go to physical. Change the material to steel. Go to, to the finish, to the plating. Choose steel polished. Save your part. Call the file 38 Upper Die Outer Ring.